Hello. In this lecture, we'll learn how to create a manufacturing output for your board. Now, these manufacturing outputs include the Gerber files, drill file, bill of material, and the pick and place file. And these are the actual files which we have to send to manufacturer, and manufacturer will manufacture the PCB according to this file. Now, let's see how to create that. In Eagle, it's very easy. So you have to just click on this option. This is called as CAM processor. If you click on this, this window will open up. And by this, using this window, we can create manufacturing output. So you can see here written Gerber. If you click on this, select, make sure output type is selected to Gerber RS-274X. And these are the different films or these are the different layers which are there in the Gerber files. If we click on this top copper, we can see here what is included in this top copper film. So it, it included the layer top, layer pads and layer VS. But however, we can change this according to our need by clicking on this edit layer option and we can add or subtract different layers. This is bottom copper and these are the layers which are included in this bottom copper film. However, we can also create different films according to our need. For that, just right click on this and click on this new Gerber output. And we just need to include other layers for our film. Let's see profile. So it contains the board shape and cutouts, solder mask top, Solder mask bottom, solder face stop, fill screen stop. So this is the outline and name of the board or component. This is the drill file. Leave it default and leave everything else is default. And we'll use this same film for creating the Gerber file. Now we can also export it at zip. If we click on this option, Eagle will export this Gerber file or manufacturing output into a zip folder. But we'll not do that. We'll tick this option, export to project directory. So automatically the folder will get created into project directory. So click on this and click on this process job. Job process successfully, click on OK, cancel and go to the folder. This is the folder for our project. Open it. And these are the CAM outputs. This manufacturing output involves Gerber files. So these are the films which we have seen in Eagle. And they form a Gerber file. Manufacturing output also involves drill file. This is the file which tells PC manufacturer where is the drill, what is the location of drill. And assembly file includes location of each component, its orientation, and this is the bill of material. Now, we'll verify these Gerber files into some other software other than Eagle. So I will use this software. This is called as Pentalogix ViewMet. ViewMet is a software name and it's very easy to download and it's free version to everyone. So you just type ViewMet Gerber Viewer Download and click on this first link. So this is the website and it's free for download. Once you download this, its installation process is very easy and this is how the software look. And let's import the Gerber files which we created in Eagle here. So click on File import Gerber and browse to the folder which we created. So this is Eagle Projects, SMPS Power Supply, CAM Outputs, click on Gerber, select everything and click on import. So these are the Gerber files which we created in Eagle and different layers are imported here so double click to unhide each and every layer and we'll 
activate them one by one. So initially we'll see the outline. Now we'll see the silk screen top. Means this is the name of component and outline of component. This is the top layer which we created in Eagle. This is the bottom layer and the remaining files. So this is very good software to view Gerber files. Now let's import NC drill file. So file import drill and route and import your drill file. Before that, click on this new layer, then import it. Otherwise, it will get overlaid on the this layer. And drill file also get imported. So it's very similar to Eagle. And using this, we can verify and make sure everything is correct. So this is how you can verify your Gerber files. I hope you understand this. And that's it for this lecture. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.